Hey guys, here's my uh, next video I was telling everybody about. And why do I have pants up here instead of Bibles? I will show you here in a second. This is the uh, second Bible that Church Bible Publishers sent me with the um, other one that they sent me, the Schofield, with that nice top green cowhide leather, which is really pretty. Love that Bible. Anyways, this is... I'm going to do actually two Bibles in this video. I actually have another Bible that I have of theirs that they didn't send me that I have. That I haven't did a review on, so I figured I would do a um, double review since they're just two small Bibles. So I can quickly go through this. Um, this is their fox leather, which is on both Bibles. This is a different kind than this one. This one's a more flat that looks kind of like their top green leather. And then this has a really neat kind of crackly grain. And I put my lamp in here to get some better lighting. My camera is just kind of an older camera. I wish it was better, but uh, it's all I got right now. So, anyways, this is their new little New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs. It's $22. And it comes with fox leather, which it's an imitation leather. And then the inside is a liner, which they do a leather lined little Bible. It's so cool. It's just really neat. It's really neat how it kind of curves like a, a uh, Cambridge kind of style Bible where it, they put a really nice cover on there that fits the book block, which gives you that nice curl around and keeps the, the book looser, gives it time to you know work in, makes it a softer fill, and it actually kind of gives you a yap to where it bends over. So if you're somebody like me that is always kind of working your Bible in when you're reading them or you're holding them at a place like a church or wherever you're at. I just sit here and kind of mess with my Bibles and bend the covers and eventually this will lean over and and be curled around. So if you're like that, you have plenty of cover to work with. But anyways, I wanted to show how this fits into. So if you're a uh, somebody who wears these kind of pants with the pockets on the side it fits right on in nice and deep into that pocket I'll try to do this with one hand fits into that pocket pretty deep um, I have deeper pockets than this one these are actually kind of shallow on this but it fits all the way in there on this one it fits in the front pocket even deeper which is just perfect because these pants have really deep pockets these kind of pants so if you have these kind of pants it's going to fit nice and deep if you have jeans it'll even fit in your back pocket here so if you're wearing a pair of jeans and you want to go out on a church outing on a street ministry you can carry this bible in your back pocket nice and comfortably it's got plenty of room and it's thin enough to where it's not like you're carrying this you know big giant brick in the back of your pants and they call it their suit suit coat Bible because it fits into coat pockets too really well but that's how it would fit into your jean pocket just kind of lightly hanging out there falls right down in there and totally takes it in all the way so you just see kind of the upper end of it so that's pretty cool very neat little Bible. I mean, it, I've seen smaller Bibles than this, but man, once they get so small, they have to start making the print really, really tiny. And I'll show you that the print on this one's pretty good. But here is a coat in our pocket. If we do this here, no problem. Actually, fits really good with the the coat pockets. It goes nice and deep in there. So. We can do this with one hand. And there you go. It's all the way in. You can actually Velcro this one shut. So if you got a typical coat, you know, this is just your typical, you know, everyday coat in the wintertime. Um, but, you know, most suit pockets are like that the same way and fit your, your billfold and stuff. So it'll fit in there nice and easy. You won't even notice that it's there. But anyways, that shows you guys how that works. 
But yeah, it's a neat little Bible. It's really comfortable. It was a real surprise because when I, you know, they, they shipped the typical church publisher's um, box. So, you know, I just assumed there was one Bible in there. So when I opened it up, I was like really, really surprised to find this little extra surprise in there. And there's their card. So if you're new to them, there you go. Let me tap the uh, screen here. Focus in, boom, focus in. There we go. So that's their website. You can go there and you find all their new stuff and some of the stuff they've had there for a while. So, anyways, this one doesn't open up flat. You know, it's a typical little Bible. It's not going to open flat for you. It might here in like, you know, a couple years after you've really worn this thing in. But let's see what it has inside. It's just got your basic um, New Testament. But the print is a very um, crisp, thin print. It's not like super bold. But it's actually, I would call this probably, I didn't look up the point on the font. I'd say this is probably a nine point font. I'd say it would be, yeah, an easy nine, maybe nine and a half, but I'm, I'm assuming nine point font, which is really big for this size of Bible, guys. It's actually a pretty good size font. And yeah, it's probably at 8.59. It might even be more. I could be off it. From my eyes, it looks like a nine. And just has all the books of the Bible, has nothing extra, don't have any like, you know, references, stuff like that. So you're just going to get the New Testament and then it goes into Psalms, Proverbs. The paper's really nice. You know, it doesn't have ghosting. I mean, this little thin Bible here, and the ghosting's almost not there at all because the print is done so well that you don't get it, it's not super, super dark. It's not so light that you don't, can't, you know, stand it. It's just right. I think people will really like that for a pocket Bible, so. Anyways, there's that one. Good job, Church Publishers, looks great. Crackle Grain looks really neat, too. I like this polyurethane, especially sometimes you leave these, these Bibles in your car a lot, and the sun and everything like that, this isn't gonna get all curled up and damaged in your glove box when the moisture happens, stuff like that, so. And same thing with this. Let me put this little guy up to this big Bible. Bigger Bible, not big, but give you guys size. Now this is actually a pretty small Bible. Yeah, it fits my whole hand over it. It's really comfortable. It has their red art guild and has kind of a um, top grain leather look to it very rubbery feeling and it has a lot of grip so it's that kind of bible that you're definitely not going to drop i mean you, your thumb just grips your fingers grip this cover it's a actually really nice feeling bible i like the way that it feels this one actually has um and it's done the same way it has a leather liner or you know synthetic liner pasted under there and then it has the letter to King James and then it actually has the translators to the reader so you're actually getting the full deal with this Bible and this one's actually an amazing print this print guys is super super dark print it actually reminds me of R.L. Allen's um, blackface because they call it text it, it's a lot like that so if you're familiar with their Bible that has that super dark black print that's how this is this is darker than my um, Cambridge Bible um, very very dark which you do get ghosting with that because that print is so dark but the text lines up pretty well on the back side so you know it's just a little Bible and with that big you know not super big print but it's so bold that it becomes really easy to read so if you have eyes that are you know good eyes um or eyes that are you know somewhat not so good but you can deal with this darker print i don't think you'll have a problem with it but uh, you got references in the center and then what's really cool about this one is in the back you have the concordance you have 
a uh, word glossary of, um, I don't know if it's archaic words, yeah, glossary of biblical usage, so it'll have some of the older, older word phrases and stuff like that, kind of a small thing on that, and then it has a really cool um, old school, because this is an older um, redone, like uh, Cambridge Bible, it has the old Bible dictionary which gives you not just the word, but where it's at in the Bible, different places where the word is found, and then a definition of its biblical biblical use of what that term and word used in the Bible is. So it's pretty neat. It's got all kinds of different stuff. Um, you know, it's not just a simple dictionary. So kind of like a thesaurus type of thing. And then it actually has a really neat, maps here. Glossary. It's thick paper there. It tells you what you got back there. So yeah, it's got the Cambridge map system and their maps. And these are a lot more colorful than than uh, their older editions of Bibles they had when they were at a different ministry. So now Church Bible Publishers is making their their Bibles, you know, which were still their same Bibles. They're the ones that have always made the Bibles, so. But they have uh, totally stepped it up since they became church Bible publishers, so. Yeah. Awesome ink. Looks really nice. It's got that old school feel. I mean, if you threw this in uh, up on a book sh shelf and you looked at it, you would think, you know, if this thing was wore out more and wasn't all new, you would think this was an older Bible from back in the uh, 50s, 40s, and 50s. Even the 30s had them that look kind of like this. So if you really like that old school kind of look to your Bible, definitely get one of these. It's neat. And this one's $30, which is excellent. I mean, that's a beautiful Bible for 30 bucks, guys. And if you were to buy this through Cambridge or any other company, um, you're going to be paying double that, if not over $100. So anyways, guys, go buy um, Church Bible Publishers. Check them out. And... Uh, Get a couple of their Bibles, man. They got really pretty Bibles. That's up next to a uh, Cambridge, uh, not Cambridge, but a Kirkbride uh, Thompson chain. Let me give you guys kind of a size comparison. Here's the little New Testament. So that'll give you guys, if you know how big a hand-sized Thompson chain is, that gives you a look at what you'll be dealing with on size. And there's the thickness and that Bible does the same thing it kind of like flatten it out a bit kind of does the curve thing because they put a, they put like a loose fitting rounded spine cover on there which is awesome that's how I like my Bibles nice yap perfect size guys so anyways uh, thanks again church for sending me a uh, Bible to review and uh, go check them out, guys. God bless. And uh, I'll have another video coming up here soon on a Thompson chain in the uh, iron cat skin that my, I got my wife on Mother's Day. So, anyways, God bless. Bye-bye.